Hello and uh, welcome back to another edition to GSS videos. My name is Glenn Sam Sloan, hence the GSS and videos is what I do. This video is for 25 of the most confusing road signs in the UK. Some of them are not uh, confusing in the slightest, so I don't understand why they're in un under this heading. Right? If you think about it, they're not with, they're not um, confusing, but some of them could do with being rebranded, re uh, redesigned, and uh, reworded, but are not confusing if you think about it. This one, would you think that's a 30 mile, at right, the end of a 30 mile speed limit? No, it's not. It's approximate uh, speed limit is 30. It doesn't mean you have to do 30. It means you can, if it's not safe to do 30, you can go a little bit, a little bit slower or to keep up with the traffic, All right? But if it's not safe to do 30, there's no, there's nothing telling you you can do 40 or or 35 because it's, if it's not safe to do 30, is it really safe to do 35? No. All right? So best thing if you see that is approximate speed limit is use this. Is it safe to do 30? And if it's not safe to do 30, then do below 30. This one here, as you can see, one there, two there, and three there for that. They are amber flashing beacons uh, on a yellow background with a blue circle in the center with a white triangle in the center of the blue circle. All right, a white triangle, I mean a white, a white arrow in the blue circle. That means, all right, that means you've got to pass on the left or stay in the left lane. You can't uh, pass on any other, on the other side. You've got to stay in the left-hand lane or pass on the left-hand lane. All right. Um, here is if it's a row, an arrow point in left like that, you've got to turn left. And this one in particular is you've got is a head only. This one here, bit confusing. It could be renamed, rebranded, uh, redesigned to be to, uh, to be more easier to read and understand. Uh, for instance, why has it got an applica application? Uh, um, that freaking stupid little mucked up symbol thing. Um, Rebrand it, rename it, redesign it, make it easier to understand. Right? I've seen these about three times, but I haven't seen them much. Alright, just lately. This one here. Train. Is that is that train? If you see a sign with a steam train, is that confusing you? Or is that how you are? oh I'm approaching a level crossing? Right, because it's uh, telling you there's a level crossing. A level crossing is a what? It's a set of say train tracks that goes across the road. Here is an upside down morning triangle, right? Upside down morning triangle that uh, means stop 100 yards or give way 50 yards. All right. Um, normally, it's it's just that sign with uh, a bit another separate bit of metal below it. What's the point of having that separate bit of metal below it when they can stuck stop stop a hundred yards in the bloody triangle inside that triangle? All right. So then it uh, saves money on metal and paint, or again. Give way in fifty yards. They can stuck that in the mid, in the centre of it because it saves money, metal, and on paint. Um, here again is another um, warning sign 
that you're approaching a level crossing, but a level crossing without barriers that, um, so, yeah, mm, not confusing. This one, again, is not confusing. You're in your car, traveling along a road that uh, is just being road, road surfaced and it's got loose debris on the road so it's warning you to stay well uh, in the in the, in the uh, well, uh, it's warning you, it's warning you to stay at a suitable speed for the road conditions here is an air, it's a warning sign it's got a picture of an airplane right you could have an airfield an active airfield or an active airport with airplanes coming and going right and airplanes have make a lot of noise and they're massive and they can get quite low in the landing in the airfield or the airport so it's warning you here yeah, it's a, again not a speed sign it's a prox proximate speed sign so it means if it's not safe to do 30 you can do below 30 but not much you st or still got to keep up with the traffic and not hold the traffic up so you can't go too slow because you can get done for driving over due care attention but if it's not safe to do 30 you don't have to do 30. here is a no waiting zone and that's up in the emergency here is warning you of uh, of uh, cars uh, carrying sort of explosives. It, in fact, it's not. It's saying that no cars, uh, no vehicles carrying explosives, uh, or uh, obvious, perhaps, but not worrying sort of thing. It's it's it's. Uh, so it doesn't want people, if you see that sign, I mean, that road is not allowed to have people, have vehicles carrying explosives along it. Um, here is an empty round circle, red round circle, right, with a white background. Um, you're not allowed to, um, for instance, simply, it means no vehicles. It may say just, uh, just that below, or perhaps have a time of day, e.g., between 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Right here is uh, a P, and then there's a motorcyclist, a motorcyclist there, a motorbike. What does that mean? means free parking for motor motorcyclists right so no wonder they're smug they've got free parking right here is if you see this on the mo on the road and it's got it's a built up area and there's street lights the maximum speed limit is 30 that means you can go 30 and no more right if it's on a if it's if it's on a single dual carriageway is a 60 mile speed limit so it's six, the maximum speed on a single dual carriageway is 60 right 70 miles per hour is on a double dual carriageway or motor or motorway this one is uh other shape in one leg, shape in the other leg. No, it's warning you that the road narrows ahead. Hang on, did they did they skip one? No, it didn't. This one here is normally normally appears at the end of motorways or um, junk, uh, slip roads to let 
allow um, let's, let's say at, at slip roads or at the end of motorways I've never seen it at a slip road but I've seen it at the end of motorways so I know it ends at it, it, it warns you saying it's coming to an end of motorway right this one and this one I think are a bit more confusing or I get confused but I have to think but this one here is warning that the road ahead will slope downwards right and then this one is running the what is running the head the road ahead slopes upwards right this one here road rings and or circles tell you what you must not do uh something uh e.g. you must not exceed 30 miles per hour per, per hour or no vehicles over the height shown may exceed proceed similar to the no stopping sign which has two crossed red lines this ex this exist exit or enter the car uh, um this sign means no waiting uh no waiting sign generously allows drivers uh driver to briefly stop to allow passengers a uh, passen passengers or to exit or enter the car but any longer periods many may be deemed as waiting so for instance if you're driving the long road and you see that and then you have your passion to want to get in or want to get out you can stop briefly to allow them in or out of the car but you're not allowed to wait on that road on that on at that stretch of road all right um here two lane road ahead right it's, it's a two lane road and then it warns you of uh two lane road crossing your road ahead so it's warning you right to be particular uh particular on traffic approaching from junctions on either side of you right so yeah this one here though this arrow pointing to the left and this one pointing to the right it means you can uh pass on either side to get to the same location this one here is not two people in a double bed so stop thinking like that it actually means an un um even road this one is again not a woman a female driver that's lost control and ended up in a ditch or into a dike that's flooded with water <laughs> so it's not a female driver it's a dike on a, a flooded dike that so it's warning drivers to be extra 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 careful while driving down long roads we've got dikes other side come on this one here is for cyclists and it so it is a recommended route for pedal cycles right this one I'll go do at a later date or maybe at a later date if you like me to it's a New York motor show preview in pictures right so if you'd like me to do something like this on up on more up to date on another video please comment that below also comment below on what your road signs and what you find particularly confusing or if you understand or 
if you want to question what I'm said, uh, please feel free to comment it below. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm always up for discussions. So yeah, speak to you later and have a good weekend. Have a good week. Have a good weekend. Have a good month. And until next time, farewell, my friends. And stop if you not have not yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button and uh, turn on turn on my notifications. Okay, so yeah. So until then, next time, farewell, my friends, and bye bye.